Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, another beer from North Park Beer Company, San Diego, California. Uh, this is a double dry hopped West Coast IPA. Stoked. Um, and it is called Archaic Technology. I love that. <laughs> oh, it's the oldest of old school. Uh, per the can, 6.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, it says India Pale Ale, double dry hop with CTZ. I mean, when do you see beers with CTZ anymore? Cascade, Centennial, Amarillo, and Chinook. Fucking boner town. This is going to be old school San Diego IP, I think. Um, and I'm pumped. This is this is a rad label. I just noticed this. It's got like a floppy disk, um, and the hop is like an old school, like 8-bit kind of a hop. It's a fantastic label. So yeah, uh, North Park, San Diego, and North Park. Uh they make amazing beer. So uh, this beer was canned on February, what does that say? It's smudged, February 16th. Uh, today is February 19th, look at us, three days in the can. Hashtag fresh to death. So let's get into it. Dude, all these old school hops, fuck, this is gonna be hopefully amazing. This is gonna be a two and a half star untapped uh, rating beer, I'm sure. Fucking clowns, I'm so over looking at untapped check-ins for West Coast IPA, seriously, I'm gonna fight everyone. I will find all of you. It's gonna be awesome. So, this beer looks old school. I bet you this looks dark on camera, um, but I don't know what it looks like to you guys. But to me, um, it is like a deep gold color. This isn't as like light as the West Coast IPAs I've had the last couple of weeks and we've reviewed. Um, it's a darker kind of uh, like a gold, kind of going towards like sort of a copper color, but it's crystal clear. I can see my finger. Uh, half a finger of wh uh, bright white head. It's sudsy, rocky. It's dissipating pretty quick. Um, there's a couple bubbles in the glass, but this beer kind of reminds me, we just reviewed a couple beers from uh, Liquid Gravity and their beers look pretty still. This one kind of looks the same way. Not sure what's going on with carb of West Coast IPAs these days. No idea. I mean, the head kind of stuck around. Um, when we swirl this, there's some bubbles that get created. I don't know, we'll see what the carb's like. Looks awesome, looks like a West Coast IPA. So let's go ahead and shove our fat nose in it. Oh man, this smells like smelling like an old school, just crazy, like IPA for the first time way back when. This is piney, it's floral, it's grassy, it's earthy. It's got citrus, a uh, little bit of grapefruit, like orange rind. I mean, it smells old school. It's like white bready, crusty. I mean, it's six and a half percent. It smells great. Let's go ahead and taste it. Cheers. Yep. That is old school West Coast IPA. And it is awesome. Um, you are not getting, so we've talked about last couple of weeks, there's been some West Coast IPAs, whatever hops they're using. I think they're using more new school hops. It, those beers offer like a fruity aspect to it. This is not fruity. This is pine cone, pine tree, sprucey, floral, um, nice amount of bitterness, mid palate, all the way to the finish that hangs on, it lingers. Um, it's grassy, um, earthy, it's super dry on the finish. It's crackery, it's sweet. Um, this is what IPAs used to be. Um, and this is the stuff that I like drinking these days. Um, I'm telling you, I'm going to get you guys back on the West Coast IPA train. I just am. It's going to happen. Um, offers a little bit of citrus, grapefruit, I think is what it is. Um, you could like maybe mistake that for some orange peel. But yeah, it's just bright. Even like a little bit of like lemon rind. But yeah, that bitterness just hangs on. Um, and that kind of just bready sweetness on the finish just balances it nice. Um, it's funny to say balance when it comes to like intensely, you know, not that it's intensely bitter, but bitter West Coast IPA. That's what this is. Super clean, drying, done and done. I mean, this is old school. Um, if you, this, I don't want to say this is like, it reminds me of something like, you know, Sierra Nevada, but it's like in that vein. Um, I think it's a little more bitter than what Sierra Nevada is, but it, it gives you those old school vibes that just piney, 
sprucey, grassy, um, floral kind of a thing. It's awesome. Such a, this beer is a crusher. It is a crusher. Um, like I said, it offers bitterness, but it's not going to wreck your palate. It's fantastic. Not a lot of you guys would like this beer, though. It's a bottom line, and it's a bummer. Uh, and I just, I can't help you when it comes to that. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is what we need to be drinking these days. LFG. <laughs> Let's do it. So, um, awesome, awesome stuff. I dig this. I got a four pack of this. I'm stoked. I've got three more cans of this in my fridge. I will enjoy these thoroughly. So, uh, would recommend, would buy again if you're a West Coast IPA guy like I am. So, there you go. We'll leave it at that. That's Archaic Technology from North Park. As soon as all this nonsense is over, I'm going to make my way down to North Park and hang out and drink all of the beer. Have my wife drive me home or something, figure it out. I just, everything I've had from them has been great. Um, and they, if you're in California, you want to check them out. They ship beer. If you ever see Hop Fu, grab that because that beer is fucking awesome. So next time they can that, I'm going to get some and I'll review it because it needs to be on my channel because I love it. It's awesome beer. So uh, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar, in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.